Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and welcome. If it's the first time you're visiting my channel, subscribe, like, and share. Um, I talk about various topics. The theme is usually I'm trying to either offer my opinion, offer advice, or, well, not really advice, offer information, share information, which I hope might help someone. So that's basically what I do. Anything I think might be of interest to a sector of my community, I look, think about it and I think, hmm, that might be interesting. So today I decided I'm going to talk about um, your passports, Jamaicans getting their passports online. I thought it was a very important, especially with the current climate of people outside Jamaica, wondering whether or not they can um, get their passports up to date and stuff like that. And when it's done via an online service in Jamaica, I'm sure they'll feel much more secure than trying to do it in the UK. So, or in the US of A, because I guess sometimes you just don't know who's intercepting the systems. And if you are in a kind of a vulnerable position, you might feel a bit hesitant about using systems or going down to the embassy or whatever it is you do to get your passport. So when I saw that um, Jamaica has now launched their online citizens and immigration portal, I thought, great, let me share this news with my fellow Jamaicans. So here we go. Um, the Passport Immigration and Citizen Agency in Jamaica will shortly roll out its online application systems for immigration and serv citizenship services. PICA's online passport application portal was tested between June the 16th and June the 20th at the Jamaica Conference Centre in downtown Kingston. The agency was one of several government agencies that has offered an express service and the government-related business at the Government at Your Service Pavilion, a fast-tracked one-stop shop exclusively at the conference. The Director of Customer Service, PICA, Stephanie Gordon, told the Jamaican in Information Services News that the new system will allow Jamaicans to apply for, a, or apply for or renew their passport online. And this is the website address, www.p for Peter, I for India, C for California, A for Apple, dot gov, G for golf, O for Oscar, V for Victor, dot J for Jamaica, and M for for Myrna. Okay, pay for the service and have it delivered to them. So that sounds really good. We will be introducing the online passport application service as well as the online citizenship application service, she said. People are inquiring about Jamaican citizenship. So I guess these are the people that are living in Jamaica. Uh, we turned around the applications in a day. So persons were able to get passports before they returned home. That is phenomenal because when I went to Jamaica and I tried to get a passport, I didn't get it for different, different reasons. But maybe if I'd done it online, I might have had a better chance. Hmm, I might even try that. Anyway, people made, made use of the opportunity to do their renewals while they were at the conference, instead of waiting while they were overseas, she added. Miss Gordon said the applications for citizenship were also received from second generation Jamaicans and from persons who were married to Jamaican nationals. The director said that the agency's outreach program has been fulfilling the needs of Jamaicans abroad. And that's what, that's why I wanted to share it, because I think it's excellent. Uh, Miss Gordon noted that persons are sometimes hesitant to apply for their passports because they don't have some of the requisite documents. And what I've done is because, oh, hold on a minute, let me just read the next paragraph to continue that. So let me read that bit again. Miss Gordon noted that persons are sometimes hesitant to apply for their passports because they don't have some of the requisite documents. 
So when we are there, we can interact with them to get their issues resolved and to find a solution to the situation they may have. Now, my point was, is that that's fine while they're at the conference and asking those questions. But I've sent an email to find out if you don't have the requisite documents when you're abroad, what do you do? Because some people, they've been in America or they've been in the UK nearly all their lives. And they have their British passports, but they're still feeling vulnerable. Or they might not even have a passport. But whatever the case, they don't have the documentation. So I've written to them and I've asked them, what do they do if they're abroad and they need to do this online application and they don't have the requisite documents? So when I get that answer, I will feed that back to you. Um... Yeah, so that's it. I thought it was, you know, I think it's some good news in a sense for people who are feeling a bit vulnerable that you can do online. I mean, online is the way to go these days. A lot of people have been resisting the computer, the technology. They they call it spyware. And yes, we do have people intercepting our software and our computers and our phones you can't get away with it get away from it but it's it's the luck of the draw you just have to hope that you're not one of those that they happen to um, happen upon so yeah so that is good and yeah that's all for now bye bye